this time our starting place is the percent. We're now going to be changing it to decimals or fractions. Decimals and fractions are actually the workhorse of the, of the uh, math problems. A lot of the calculations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, is done with fractions or decimals. The percentage itself is more of a label. You're, there, it's used in charts, like a pie chart would be in uh, percentages. Or uh, it can be used in advertising uh, for discounts or um, you know, 37% uh, off for a Christmas special or something. With that in mind, percentages need then to be changed into the decimals or percentages so we can actually do the math on it. 37%. Remember that we're now going in the, to the left, and our columns are open to the left of this. To, in order to get a percent, we took the decimal point from the decimal column and moved it two places to the right. So when you're coming back this way to the left, you're going to, to visualize a decimal point here at where the percent sign is and move it to the left this time two positions, giving us 0 0.37. Point 0.91. This one has a decimal place in it, so we're, we're going to start moving it from this place to two uh, columns over. So this would be decimal point 7, 6, and 1. This one has a decimal point in it. We'll take this two places to the left this time. And since we have a number uh, on the other side of the 8, we will have to say it like this, 1.897. There's only two places in this 23%, so we're just going to visualize our decimal point here, moving it to two places to the left this time, 0.23. Now we have our equivalent decimals. 37 becomes the numerator of our fraction and we'll memorialize the last digit of that decimal. The 7 is in the hundreds column. 91 is the numerator of this fraction. The number 1 is in the hundreds column. 7 a point seven six one that is also the numerator of this fraction, but we're now going to be looking at the last digit of this number. It's in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths column. So our denominator on this fraction is one thousand. In this case, we have a whole number. It's on the it's uh, on the whole number side of the decimal point. So we're just going to put a one down here. 897 is our numerator, 7 is in the thousands column. 23 is the numerator of this fraction, the 3 is in the hundreds column. I've taken great pains to uh, think of problems that do not have to be reduced to simplified. In a, in a future video, I'm going to be talking about fractions that could be reducible. At this particular point, I'm using mostly prime numbers or numbers that are not divisible by the uh, tenths, hundredths, or thousandths.